Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see that what is a comment in Microsoft Excel VBA and what is the usage of this comment. Now uh, we have already seen the usage of the comments in Microsoft Excel that is um, uh, how can we add comments but those comments were for Microsoft Excel but what if we want to insert a comment in this visual basic for applications editor for the vb code uh, all those of you who have read or learned about any of the programming languages up till now you know that each and every programming language has a comment and this comment is used to help the reader of the code who has not written the code to understand that what the code does if I just show this piece of code to you, you might take two seconds or some time to just process that what is written in this code and what is the meaning of this code. But this is a very simple code. Imagine if there is a very complex code, then you would take minutes or even hours to understand that what is the logic over there and what is the purpose of this particular statement. So it is a good practice to write the comments in that case by the programmer who is writing the code so when the programmer writes the comments then any person who is reading that code afterwards is able to understand that what actually the code does and is able to perform uh, the actions that is required by that particular piece of code so uh, what is the usage of comments we know that where the comments can be used one uh, where ever the programmer thinks that the logic is something that needs to be explained um, to the user suppose the programmer has carried out some mathematical operation with the help of a combination of the mathematical operators then the programmer needs to explain it to the reader that yes i have done this operation or i am trying to perform this task over here so in that case the programmer can write the comments so that the reader can understand or the uh, wherever like you have written some piece of code but that code is giving some kind of error so you can write the comments over there to make sure that uh, those piece of codes are omitted from the compiler suppose uh, right now if i see that i have declared dim v as an integer value so i have executed uh, these statements where uh, the value of uh, v is a string but I have written this statement I do not want to execute them so what I do is I write a comment on it or I can comment this line so in visual basic how can we comment it you can just put this um, uh, single quote over here uh, this key is just present beside your enter key and uh, after the colon key in your keyboard and that's a single quote you need to just write here so as soon as you write there you can see that whichever statement in which you use the single quote it has turned into the green color green color indicates that now this statement would not be executed by the compiler because it is a comment it would not be uh, recognized uh, as a valid vb statement it would be omitted by the compiler whenever the compiler tries to execute this um, piece of code so let's just do that same thing for this boolean value of v as well and uh, as well as for this string value of a okay like this now we have dim v as integer dim a as integer let's just change it to say f4 and f6 respectively and if we just run it then you can see only the possible values or only the correct values have been executed and all the rest of the code which we knew would give us an error were not executed and thus we didn't get any error in visual basic so that is the usage of comments another usage is that you can just specify what a piece of code is doing like here we are declaring a variable so you can just specify it with a comment like you can just write this uh, single code and then you can write that variable declaration variable declaration and if you want a comment to span on multiple lines what you can do is simply press an enter and again simply press a single quote key and you can just write uh, the comment means whatever the number of lines maybe you can simply write the single quote single quote single quote and that would be the comments uh, would be added okay 
variable declaration you can just write here like two variables declared and here you can write like integer variables which means that there is no need or uh, no compuls uh, compulsion for you to add a single line of comment if you want you can write multiple lines of comments as well so that's how you can write multiple lines of comments but what if there are multiple lines like there were three lines however there are if there are a 10 lines or a 50 lines in one go that you need to comment then in that case if you just go on like uh, here is some lines i have just written there some garbage data this all data i need to comment in one go then what happens is i have to write the single quote every time i have to go at the start of every line and i have to write this single quote at the uh, start of every line which is a cumbersome process it requires too much effort but that is of no use because this code would be commented okay so in that case in visual basic we have an option of a comment block and an uncomment block so that option is present in the edit menu if you just go to your edit menu you can see that there is no such option of comment or uncomment block so you must be wondering that where it is so the reason uh, being this is the default setting of the visual basic code or the vba editor and in the default setting we do not have this uh, comment or the uncomment block we have to add it explicitly like we added the developer tab explicitly in microsoft excel it was not present in the default settings so simply uh, in this um, edit menu bar also we have to explicitly add this comment and the decomment block so how can we add to add anything what you need to do is uh, just follow these steps go to the view menu bar this is this uh, second last option which is of toolbars you can just go to here and you can see there are these bunch of options you need to go to this customize option when you go to this you can see that there is this customize menu bar open in front of you or this customize dialog box is open in this customize dialog box there is this um, commands option that you need to go to commands option and in this commands option you can see this edit menu you need to go to this edit menu and then you can see that there are these bunch of commands available from these bunch of commands you need to search for this comment block so this is our comment block uh, you need to bring it to the edit menu bar so how can you do that you can just double click over it and you can then drag it to this edit menu and you can just paste it or bring it at any place here like i want at select all option after select all option so here i brought this comment block simply for the uncomment block also we want also the uncomment block so just double click and then drag it with your mouse button down all the time and then bring it just below this uncomment block and you can see comment block and uncomment block are now available to you then you can just close this edit menu bar so here you can see that there are these bunch of options available to you if you want any of these options you can simply add these options any time that you want okay these are these different options available to you or if you want to remove that option you can do that as well then you can just simply close this and now what we have is uh, we want to just comment this whole block so just select this whole block go to the edit and just select this comment block option so as soon as you do that you can see that whatever piece of code that you selected was commented in one go for all the statements okay now if you simply uh, now you have commented it but what if you want to uncomment it so it goes both ways you can just uncomment it as well you can simply select all these statements that you want to uncomment go to the edit menu bar and here is this uncomment block you can just uncomment it as well okay so that's how you can work with it simply if you want to just uncomment a single thing also then you can just select that line and you can go to this uncomment block then it would be uncommented and we are getting this er error over here because um, integer is a keyword in visual basic and this statement does not make any sense so either you delete this statement or you just comment it so to uncomment it you can just go to the edit menu uncomment block whether it is a single line or it is a block or statement simply uh, using the comment block also if you want to comment you can comment a single line or a block or statements as well okay So that was about commenting and uncommenting um, the things. Now let's just clear up this piece of code. 
so that is all about the comments that you need to know now you know what is the usage of the comments where are the different places where can you use the comments and um, how can you actually comment or uncomment some kind of a thing in visual basic so one more thing if you do not want to use that uncomment option and you want to uncomment any piece of statement then you can simply remove this uh, sign that we added for commenting it that's the single quote sign uh, you can simply remove it and the statement would be uncommented okay so that is all for today's video and i hope you all have enjoyed it thanks for watching